We seek to liberate the chessboard from a millennium of tedium. Let the richly painted warriors of a thousand worlds battle across their checkered fields. Let the clatter of dice despoil their cold and logical perfection. Let the chessboard be a playground of the imagination. Let it be Chess 28. Hello, and welcome to Planet Smasher HQ. I've got a new game for you. It's a ridiculous thing called Flagstone, and it's the first, and possibly last, Chess 28 game. I've made my own chessboard and painted it. I've gathered some beautiful fantasy figures, and I have placed upon my itch, it's a weird thing to say, a prototype rule set that you can download and print, and you can cut out the cards, and you can play the game. I hope you do, and if you do, let me know. I want some feedback for it. I'm quite excited by this game, and I'm quite excited by the idea of using chessboards for miniatures games. I've actually already had several other ideas bubbling out from this initial experiment, and that gave me the idea to ensure that the core rules of Flagstone are a generic Chess 28 engine that I can use for other games. And once I'd done that, I thought, well, maybe this is the opportunity to try that experiment I've been interested in, where I release some miniature rules uh, open source with the hope that maybe somebody else builds on top of them. So that's what I've done. The cool rules of Flagstone are available through a Creative Commons license for you to take and remix and do as you will as long as you give me credit. To mark the release of the prototype alpha version of Flagstone, I thought I would show you how I went about making my own chessboard. I've actually made several more since this one, so I might share my process on those as well, because I used a slightly different technique for each one. All right, stick around if you want to see how I made this chessboard, and head on over to planetsmashergames.itch.io to download Flagstone in its prototype format. I'm going to charge you $5 for it, but if you support me on Patreon, you can head on over to Patreon and find the post where I give you it for free. It begins with some dense grey styrofoam and a Stanley knife. Okay, let's cut the rest of them out. Marking out the next set of lines. Okay, time to add some texture using the age old art of punching it. Using rhythmic, arrhythmic and improvisational techniques here. At this point, my daughter asked me to keep the noise down. This is a rock from a recent trip to the beach. Just turning it around, trying to get random patterns. Let's break it into some rows and into some squares. We're good. Okay, let's knock the edges off of these. We don't want those sharp corners. Not bad. Just need to smash 62 more of them into shape. Carve out a few divots and imperfections. Okay, and this one, well, I wanted to have a few that were sort of lower than the others. So I carve a cross into the top and then cut a couple of mils off the top of it, trying not to injure myself. Oh, shit. I'm 
Okay, and it's time to beat the heck out of it with a rock. Yeah, and there we go. They're all done. Just arrange them. It's as easy as that. Just tighten it up. All right, now they're made. It's time to stick them down. Let's grab the PVA glue. Three to go, two to go, last one. Okay, now I missed out a step here. The next stage after the glue dried was to add some texture gel. Yeah, here it is, acrylic medium sand texture gel. And after that's dried, it left some gaps. So I'm gonna go in with some Millipup. It's going all around, filling in all the little gaps, giving it some texture in these crevices. And once the Millipup is dry, it's time to go in with the first layer of paint. I'm using this AK Interactive Terrain Paste paint stuff. This one's the Asphalt. I've used it before because it's got a nice fine grain to it and um, you basically paint it over anything. What I didn't realise until it dried on this build was that it's got a really nice glittery effect. I guess to make it look like asphalt, which works really nicely in this build because it looks kind of like marble. In other projects I've used it as a black undercoat. Slap it all around the outside as well, cover up all these edges. Okay, and then it's in with the first layer of highlights. This is some dark grey brown to, uh, I'm highlighting the black tiles here just to give them a little bit of something. And then it's in with the first layer of the white tiles. I'm splattering it in with a nice broad brush, giving it some texture over the grey underneath. I'm going to go in with a couple of layers, so I'm not being too careful with this, just trying to get some colour over it. And then in with the next layer. Probably should have cleaned the brush a bit better because it had a lot of brush marks, but you know, we use the texture. Just decided to work it in. I wasn't sure at this point whether I was going to wash the tiles or not to bring it together. And now in with a dry brush with a slightly lighter tone. And now we're getting some bright white grey and a sponge and it's time to get that final texture and highlight in. I'm using a squarish sponge here which made it kind of easier to contain the mess. In fact on 32 squares I'm not sure I really did any overspill onto the blacks. I love using a sponge to paint, I use it on quite a lot of terrain and also big vehicle models and stuff. And then that's pretty much it for the painting. So we are done with our marble chessboard. Time to finish it off. So I've got this frame, I'm cutting it out. I thought this was a spare frame. It turns out my wife kind of liked this picture. And so here it is, a scratch built chessboard of black and white marble framed in gold. Well, I'm pretty pleased with that chessboard. It came out really nice. As I said, I've made a couple since then because this Chess 28 idea has really caught my imagination. If you want to see more from Planet Smasher Games, hit that subscribe button and make sure to check your subscriptions panel in YouTube. If you like what I'm up to and want to ensure I keep making stupid games like this, then head on over to patreon.com slash planet smasher games and consider buying me a cup of coffee. All right, until next time, I'll see you later. Goodbye.